Hello everyone, this is Sasha, aka Your Frugal Friend, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make realistic mock-ups using Canva Free and uh, Photopea, which is also a free program that you can use online. So um, what do I mean? Okay, so for example, I sell these Christmas hot chocolate bomb tags. They're instructional tags for a chocolate product that people like to buy and use in the holiday season. It's a fun little gift to do with kids or just with family and friends. Okay, so I have the gift tag shown on my Etsy product listing image. And then, you know, I'll have more instructional um, uh, video, I mean, um, listing images so that I'm telling people how to use the product. But then what if I wanted to take something like this mock-up and make it look like this? with the twine going through the hole of the gift tag and it just looks so realistic. This is usually something you can only achieve using like Photoshop or GIMP and it's like a layered object effect. But you can actually do this using Canva and Photopea. So how did I do this? Well, first I chose the um, mock-up I wanted to do by going into elements, typing in the word gift tag, hitting enter, and then going to photos. And then when I chose um, a mock-up to use uh, for this um, realistic mock-up process I'm gonna show you, I chose one that had a contrasting background because when you go into Photopea, you're gonna be removing the object from the listing image that you wanna use, and then you're going to be putting the image of your gift tag behind it. And in Photopea, if there's like a white on white tag, it might grab the white background and try to delete that too. So I like to use the contrasting um, white on a darker type of background because it makes it easier to achieve this quickly. All right, so let me show you how to do this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna choose the image that we wanna do, I'm, I chose this one. Then we're going to download this as a PNG. So you go here. And you download page seven, that's the page I'm on. We're gonna download that. And then we're gonna go into Photopea by typing in Photopea, P-H-O-T-O-P-E-A into Google, then clicking on it here. And then I'm going to drop that mock-up image into Photopea. And now I wanna remove this area so that I can put my um, gift tag on there in Canva. So I take the magic wand here on the left ribbon, and then I select the gift tag and I hit delete. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this bigger so that I can go here and get all these tiny little areas that I don't want to show when I bring this back into Canva. So you can make this as small or as big as you want and just go in and delete these little areas around the twine that you want to make sure don't show when you're highlighting your gift tag in your mock-up. All right, so I feel like this looks pretty good. Just know it doesn't have to be perfect. And then I'm going to minus my control minus minus to make this smaller. And now I think I'm ready to go. I think it looks good. So then I hit file, export as PNG, and then hit save. And then I'm going to go back into Canva and then I'm going to go and create a new listing image here within my product listing images for this product. And then I'm going to bring in also my hot chocolate tag that I want to highlight. And then I'm going to turn this image like this, the way that the mock-up looks. And then I'm going to make this image bigger almost all the way to the edges of this um, listing image because if you bring it to the edges sometimes Canva likes to uh, attach the image and so it makes it harder to work with so then we want to make our gift tag be as big as we want it to look on this mock-up and then we hit position backwards. And then you can see that your um, gift tag is now, uh, looks good. You can move this if you wanna change it up. So then what you're gonna do is you're gonna, you know, move your mock-up image to the edges. 
and then you're going to hit outside into the gray area and then control Z, which is backing it up to the next thing. Because it's if once you bring the listing image to the edges, that big image here of the mock-up, it's going to try to attach the image to the background on Canva. And you can just do control Z to back it up to, to make sure that it's full and you can see the whole image with your gift tag on there. So then I'm just going to share, download this image as a PNG like I do with my listing images. So download. And then I'll show you what the finished image looks like that you can upload into your Etsy listing images or into any other, um, uh, any other e-commerce platform you have. And here it is. It looks great. All right, so I hope that this helps you to achieve making listing images for uh, realistic mock-ups for your Canva gift tag products.